Hello world. I'm going to bring you a short, uh, short scriptural reading. It is from Matthew chapter 10, verse 16 through 39. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to their councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony of the, against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought on how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given to you in the same hour what you shall speak. For it is not you that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaks in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child. And the children shall rise again up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man come. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Is it enough for the disciple that may be he may be as his master, and the servant as his lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what you hear in the ear, that preach until the housetops. And fear not which them them that which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are more valuable than many sparrows. Whoever therefore shall confess me before men, him I will confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household." And he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Brothers and sisters, I, 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 I love you all. I thank you for following me. I thank you for listening to this, this word. And take heart that, that what the Lord has spoken in, in secret will come to light. The deeds that we do in the darkness shall come to light. There's nothing hidden that won't come to, to knowledge of all. So love each other. Love God first. Love each other. That is, that is the great two commandments. You know, don't tear each other down with your words, but build each other up with our words. I love you all. God bless. Have a wonderful night.